Hey, David here with DIY Mountain Bike. What do we got going on today? It's a morning ride on the Hemiway Cobra. Yeah, I broke down. I bought an electric bike. Hemiway Cobra, it's a full suspension machine, 750 watt rear hub, something that I love. Outstanding, I shopped for this, which is work sensing drivetrain so we're gonna put this bike through some paces real quick got a hill climb coming up throttle only about three quarters of a mile up this guy so here it is the Hemiway Cobra it's a 750 watt rear hub drive e-bike with some massive 26 inch 4.8 inch wide tires you've got tectro two piston 180 millimeter hydraulic brakes it's got a torque sensing drivetrain i love this i shopped for it really love that as you push a little bit harder on the pedals it's going to give you a little bit more power with full suspension with an air adjustable shock scoop forward we've got a 20 amp hour a massive capacity 48 volt battery up at our cockpit we've got our hydraulic brakes our buffing thumb pad our throttle and see i got about 46 miles a shimano seven speed a bell and our ergonomic grips a nice headlamp with the RST guide front suspension big hydraulic brake and really maybe you can see it in this light a beautiful carbon fiber weave wrap just a really beautiful wrap on this bike comfortable seat it does have a, an aggressive riding position so you're gonna lean forward a little bit on this bike and it's a big bike this is not a small bike by any means. What was it like to put it together? As we power up our hill. Really simple. Came in a box. What did I have to do? Literally 15 minutes worth of assembly. I had to put the handlebars on. Front wheel on. The headlamp on. And my pedals. Charged up the battery. And we were ready to go. Let's go down to the bottom of this hill. And we'll power up. All right, dead stop. We're just going to keep her in pedal assist level one, throttle only, and uh, go up this hill. Again, it's hard to tell, I'm sure how big this hill is but it is about three quarters of a mile of basically an uphill grade the whole way henry ford and his guests back in the 40s would roll up this hill with model t's in the winter time it would have been crazy so we are Maybe a tenth of a mile up the hill. Got a little bit of a kick right here. And this isn't the biggest kick. This is one of the kicks. All throttle here. I'm not doing any pedaling at this point. Where did I get to? Down to about 11. Maybe hit 10 there. Alright. That was one of the kicks. We're still going up even though we're gaining speed. The power of this bike just overcomes so much. Another hill. Little guy. We're coming up to the parking area. But it's not done. Going up some more. Where are we going? A 
we are at one of the highest points in my county at this point. In fact, the marker for the highest point is right here. Now the Henry Ford family had a sledding hill on this hill and you would blast down this hill and then to help the kids get back up, they actually had a powered lift. It was like a rope lift with pulleys. So let's go down the hill and check out where the estate was, the lodge actually, using those 180 millimeter brakes stop us going down this hill. Here's where the estate used to be. It was actually in a, a lodge. They'd bring family out here. And it was, a, like I said, a little bit of a hideout for the Henry Ford family. So to give you a little feel about how big this hill is, we're just gonna coast down. I know one of the turns I am gonna have to break because I'll probably hit upwards of 33 miles an hour. It's a big hill. So as we get going down here, right after this, I think we'll talk about what I think the Cobra would be perfectly suited for. What kind of environment? Hang on. Here's the kick. quarters of a mile maybe a half mile right in that neighborhood so let's get through here so what is the Cobra built for what would I say the Hemiway is built for sightseeing and trail riding this kind of trail right here where it's not twisty and turny but just a beautiful, comfortable ride. You've got that full suspension to soak up the bumps. And then you also have that power to get up the little hills when you need to, and you can relax, right? Motor along, look around and enjoy the scenery. The motor's relatively quiet. Maybe you can hear it there. That torque sensing just adds to the experience of biking, right? You get that natural feel. So as you apply some pressure, it applies the power. But we're gonna add some power. Twenty-five miles an hour is what I can get. I unlock this. There's. Let's do our speed test. So 25 miles an hour. Looks like we got a slight downhill. Let's put some leg into it. So 
I saw 33, almost 34. So this is the other type of riding that the Cobra is just built for. Excels at this. A comfortable pedaling pace, a beautiful dirt road with scenery and wildlife. I just saw some turkey a couple minutes ago. You can just roll off the miles, relax. So let me take you to the next spot I think the Hemiway Cobra is built for. So this is where I think the Hemiway Cobra just shines. You're cruising along, enjoying the sights, and you say, hey, what's this? Let's explore. And you get to pull off and really see something new. Have enough power to find out where the trail goes. Have enough battery to take you there and take you back. And still enjoy some outside time. Now I've been on this trail before. Let's gas it up, give it some speed. pretty good. So this is another great application of the Hemiwe Cobra. Sightseeing on a groomed path, right? You've got these fat tires that make this loose gravel a little bit scary when you're on a thin tired bike. And here we've got a pretty good sized hill. You want to just have a little bit of power to get you up that hill. The Hemiway has got that. You can ride along in confidence knowing that those fat tires are going to stick on this loose, almost sandy gravel. And just enjoy stuff around you instead of being scared frightened on a bike so fat tire bikes are perfect for this kind of situation and a little bit of throttle is just going to help you get up those hills with ease yeah motoring along 10 miles having the confidence to look around is really what biking should all be about so let's wrap this up here in a second i'm going to take you to the car stop at a picnic table and just enjoy it but we got a long hill let's power up accelerating up a hill that i would probably lose my breath if i was walking So 
So here it is, the Hemiway Cobra. So took this guy out for the test. Hill climb, A plus. Climbed it with ease. Ride stability, definitely a positive thing with the Hemiway Cobra. I think I went over 10 miles. I don't think I even lost a bar. Yeah, probably over 10 miles. Still showing full on the battery. My GoPro is actually showing lower than the Hemiway. The torque sensing I love. 750 watt motor I love. 48 volts, 20 amp hours I love. Probably the only thing. This is a big heavy bike. It's pushing 88 pounds and it's long. So if you've got a bike carrier, make sure you've got the capacity for this bike. I like the aggressive stance and rider position. I think that's a good thing. So perfect for dirt roads, two tracks, groomed trails, anything with that loose gravel that you're a little bit scared on a skinny tire bike these 4.8 inch tires are just going to soak it up and stick i love the full suspension and power